This is lesson number 71, Algebra 1, Trinomials with Common Factors and Subscripted Variables. All right, a couple lessons ago, we learned how to factor. And when we had something like this, we factored it into two binomials. We took the square root of that, and then we found what number multiplied is going to give me 5, added is going to give me 6. So what numbers? The factors of 5 are just 5 and 1. So we know we have a 5 and 1 in there because 5 times 1 is 5 and 5 plus 1 is 6. And because both of these numbers are pluses, we have a plus here and a plus here and we're done. Alright, sometimes they throw at us something that is a little bit different than what we have right there. And uh, that's what this particular lesson is about. All right, so what if we had something like x cubed plus 6x squared plus 5x? All right, when we look at that, uh, one of the things that is the very first ch uh, very first step in factoring is see if we can get rid of something first before we factor. We look at each one of these and see if there's something common in these terms that we can pull out before we even get started. And you'll notice that we have an x that's common to all three of those. So we're going to pull that x out and I have two x's left here. I have one x left here and I have no x's left here. So now this is what I'm going to factor. This here is just going to tag along the side and we're going to make two and this is where I just did the last one. Two numbers multiplied give me five, added give me six and there is my answer. Don't forget to put this X on there. Let it follow along with you so that you make sure that you uh, realize it's there because it is part of the answer. Alright, so let's go and do the Next example here, we have 4bx cubed minus 4 minus 4bx squared minus 80bx. All right, so we're going to factor out um, what's common. I notice that I have a 4 a 4 and I can factor a 4 out of there. So I'm going to take a 4 out and that leaves me with bx cubed minus 4 bx squared minus 20 bx because remember if I take a 4 out of here it's what number times 4 gives me 80? 20. 20 times 4 gives me 80. Alright now let's look and see if they've got any other ones. I've got a b, a b, and a b and I have an X, an X, and an X, so I can take those out too. So I'm going to leave my 4, I'm going to take an X out, and I'm going to take a B out. So that takes that B out, takes one of those out. Okay, that one disappeared because we already pulled it out here. And we pulled the B out, and we pulled an X out, leaving me 1. And I've got a 20. And let's see... Pull the B out, pull the X out, and I don't have anything. Okay, so probably the thing that's confusing that I didn't do is this 4 that was right there. I pulled the 4 out, and then I rewrote it there. I shouldn't have done that. It should have been BX cubed minus BX squared minus 20 BX, and I left that 4 in. Sorry about that. All right, so now that 4XB, it's always going to be part of our answer. So now we're going to factor this. So we've got an x, an x. What two numbers multiplied together give me 20. And if I take the difference or if I add them, I get 1. And that's going to be 5 and 4. 5 times 4 is 20. The difference between them is 1. And that's what that is right there. So I'm going to use a 5 and I'm going to use a 4. Now the question is, what sign do I put on there? Well, I want to be able to get a negative 20 when I multiply them. So one of them is going to have to be negative and one of them is going to have to be positive. And this is a negative here. And remember I said the negative always goes, or this sign goes in front of the biggest number. So negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. 
So this ends up being my answer. All right, let's do one more. And I wish I could just erase the entire page instead of one little bit at a time. It's kind of a pain in the neck. Okay, so we've got that. So what can we factor out? Well, we don't like this negative there, so let's factor out the negative. And when we do that, we bring the negative out, we factor it out just like a number, but everything inside the parentheses changes sign. Okay, so when you bring a negative out, just change everything inside the sign. Then we can make our two binomials. Make sure you don't forget that negative. Two numbers multiplied together give you 20, added give you 1, and it goes back to our 5 and our 4. And we want a negative here. So um, one's positive, one's negative. Largest one is going to be that sign right there. And there's your answer. Okay. All right, one more. Mm, negative. 3x cubed minus 6x squared plus 72x. Okay, what do we have common? I'm going to factor out a negative 3x. Okay, usually what I'm going to do is factor out whatever that is because I need to get rid of it so it's just an x squared. And that leaves me with an x squared because I factored out one of these and I got rid of that. Okay, and I factored out a negative um, 3, so this number um, right here will be positive because I pulled a negative out, so that means everything's going to change its sign. Okay, so I took out an x and a 3, so 3 times 2x gives me my 6x back, but I need a negative 6, so this um, is a negative, so this has to be a positive, so that when I multiply the 2, I'm going to get my negative back. So negative 3 times positive 2 is negative 6. Alright, and a 3 out of 72 is going to be a 24. And that also will be a negative because a negative 3 times a negative 24 gives me a positive. So your signs are really, really important. And they're just, it's just going to take practice until you get this down. Until you look at this and say, okay, when I multiply this back to get my original, am I going to get the right signs? If I'm not, then you're going to have to change the signs in here so that you do get the right signs. So I need a negative here. So when I multiply this negative times whatever this middle term is, I have to get this negative 6 back. The only way to do that is negative times a positive. If I want a positive here and I have a negative, negative times a negative gives me a positive. So I have to make that a negative. Okay, so, make my two parentheses here, an x and an x. I want a 24 and a 2. So what times what is 24 added together gives me a 2, and it ends up being a 6 and a 4. 6 times 4 is 24, the difference between 6 and 4 is 2. All right, sign of my biggest one um, is going to go on the big number. So that plus sign is going to go there. And I need to get a negative here. So a positive times a negative will give me a negative 24. And 6 minus 4 is 2. So there's my answer right there. And we will continue on with the next video.